Junpei felt the sudden grip of despair on his heart. Something deep and distant and powerful squeezed, and for a moment he felt very, very empty and alone. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Uh? Her name was... The sound of the door opening was like a gunshot. Junpei spun around. Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. I thought, I thought Ace was in here the whole time. I'm so confused. Ace, you two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. Ace glances down at the floor. At the corpse, covered in blood. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? Could you, uh, come over here and do something unspecific with me? I'm having a little trouble and I could really use your assistance. Because I want to talk to you about something and I don't want Clover to hear. Uh... Come on, it'll only take a moment. With that, he turned and walked back toward the communications office. Who was it? Was it June? I'm gonna guess June. I'm gonna guess it was June that, that, that was the, uh... It was Akane, I think was her name. Clover waited until he was out of sight, then spoke in a small, quiet voice. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Oh my god! No! Huh? Hey, wait! Now I know how you guys feel when I leave an episode on a cliffhanger. Jeez, it sucks. Clover ignored him. From outside, Junpei could hear Ace calling. Junpei? What are you doing in there? Hurry up! <sighs> <sighs> Grumbling to himself, Junpei stomped off toward the communications office. Wait. That's just a... What? Isn't he gonna talk to me or something? That was, that's, this is really weird. Okay. Oh, look, a hook. Uh, that wasn't a joke. I, I know, man. So what he, what he wanted us to help, he actually did want us to help him with something. And that was to look at everything. Yes. Hey, what is this? It's blank. There's nothing written on it. white piece of paper it's blank clearly we need to combine these two <laughs> looks as though that drawer is the only thing that's locked I don't see a keyhole though an electric lock perhaps take a look at the left side of the drawer yeah there's some cables over there that must mean need something with this machine. An early telecommunications device. Most likely used to transmit a radio signal of some sort. I experimented with it earlier, but to no avail. I imagine it's broken. There's a pair of headphones on the desk. This is a really long cable tip is hooked uh, onto one of the desk drawers. Okay. Hey, Ace, look! It's a bottle of a steam train. Bottle of a steam train. How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? I was about to say the same thing. That's not what it looks like at all. 
be honest, I have no goddamn idea what this thing really is. <laughs> it's probably some kind of radio transmitter. That's funny. Hey Ace, look! It's a monkey with glasses! Okay, I see what's going on here. <laughs> it also kind of looks like someone who's been watching too much TV. Or YouTube. To be honest, I have no goddamn idea what this thing really is. It's probably some kind of radio transmitter, yeah. Telegraph key, a machine for transmitting Morse code. I tried sending an SOS earlier, but I doubt that did anything. Zero would never make it that easy. You think it's broken? No, it works. I'm just not sure if it actually transmits anything outside of the ship. Hmm. There's a big ass rat trap over here. I told you, that's a telegraph key. It's a device that transmits messages through Morse code. It's a normal light. Well, it will turn on, so maybe not that normal. I think we looked at everything here. Clock. Clock mounted on the wall. The hands aren't moving. A little surprised that the time is wrong then, I suppose. And there's nothing on the back. There's something in the drawer. Ink. Okay. A bottle of ink. It's filled with ink. What about... Mm. Small screwdrivers. Hmm. A set of small screwdrivers. Perhaps we can use them to dismantle small devices. If only we had a small device that required disassembling. Alright, this screwdriver ought to make short work of this music box. Oh, I get it. We need to apply the ink to this and then roll it on the paper. Um, I guess I'll put the ink on the cylinder. Now we just gotta roll the cylinder across a piece of paper. That's gonna give us the Morse code to open up the drawer, I guess. If I'm right, the ink should. Nice. Just as you suspected, right? Now you have a pattern of dots and lines on the paper. I imagine it's Morse code. These dots and lines are the dots and dashes of Morse code. It's all this stuff old telegraph machine. Nothing suspicious here. Okay, if you feel like that's not suspicious. No idea how it works. Let's try. Alright, I've got the Morse code I'm supposed to enter. If I do this right, something will happen. I hope. Alright, let's give this a shot. I have to hold down. Gotcha. That's the last one, and yes! Excellent work, Junpei. Good job. You seem to have figured it out. You've unlocked the drawer. His Ace's sarcasm has me so suspicious of him. It's like way over enthusiastic. A red file lay in the drawer. Junpei, Junpei reached down and picked it up. 
Looks like there's something on the cover. I continue to struggle pronouncing Chupe's name. I'm sorry. <laughs> A-L-L-I-C-E. Double L. That's... Oh, all ice. That's right. Okay. That was the Ice Nine thing. The 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 girl, the uh, the Egyptian woman that was just refused to melt. All ice, Alice. Does this mean Junpei couldn't hold back? He had to know what was in that file. Each page was covered with strange characters. Hieroglyphics. They look like tiny drawings of birds, snakes, insects, horned animals, wings, and even kneeling humans. There were many pages in the file, and each was full of these strange symbols. What the hell is this? He didn't realize he'd spoken out loud until Ace looked over at him. They are hieroglyphs, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can you read them? Of course. I can't. What would make you think I could? What the hell? Junpei flipped through a few more pages. It wasn't just one or two pages that were covered in the strange symbols. Every single page was covered in them. Whoa, the, the whole thing's like that. Trying to read them was pointless. Junpei wasn't going to waste any more time with them. He made to close the file. And something fell out. Huh? What's this? He bent down and picked it up. Oh, I a key card. There was a symbol on it that reminded Junpei of the symbols for the Saturn and Mercury key cards. This one, however, had a dot in the center of the male symbol. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Junpei looked over to see Ace examining the card. In addition to the Uranus symbol, there were three words engraved on the card as well. Something's written on the bottom. Bottom deck library? Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library then. So it would seem. Bottom deck. Library. Oh. Junpei remembered something he'd heard from Seven when they'd been in the chemical closet. Seven said something like... Alice, Alice sleeps, sleeps in a small, small chamber past, past the forest, forest of knowledge beneath, beneath the navel of the gigantic. gigantic. Oh, man. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck, and the forest of knowledge is the library? Makes sense. Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Junpei blinked. Only then did he notice Ace looking at him. Curiosity and concern written across his face in equal parts. Um, yeah. I just remembered something. Is that so? What about? I feel like we should start sharing information with each other. Well, don't laugh, okay? Oh, now? You know what? It's like everyone else has seemed crazy when they were relaying these stories to us. Now we're going to be relaying the stories to Ace, and he's going to think that we're crazy. There's no reason for Junpei to hide his thoughts. He began to explain his theory to Ace. Then he stopped. It wouldn't make any sense if Ace didn't know who Alice was supposed to be. So he told Ace everything June had told him. The Egyptian Priestess and Ice Nine. Interesting. And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster? They called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice. And she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. Lord Gordain. That's who I th was thinking that body might be. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice.
And you think that he hid her in a small room, beyond the library on the bottom deck? Yeah. W well, I mean, it is just a theory. Hmm. Makes about as much sense, or even more sense, than a lot of the stuff we've been throwing around so far. Ace stared off into the distance, his hands slowly and absentmindedly stroking his beard. More to go deep. After a few moments, his hand stopped. He turned slowly to look at Junpei, and his brows drew together. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term Cass? Here we go! Cass? It stands for Cells Alive System. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving organic matter. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. CAS, however, works differently. The object to be frozen is supercooled using magnetic fields, and then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. It was originally developed for the preservation of food as an alternative to the normal freezing process. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other things? Like freezing a human. Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Are you serious? Surely you've heard of suspended animation, cryogenic freezing, it's a fairly common idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. That was when Junpei understood what Ace was suggesting. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Ace looked at him and raised an eyebrow. Are you saying that Alice was frozen using that cast thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low, but it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice-9 does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously. You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice-9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put somewhere where she could reach that temperature, <laughs> That's nuts. Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But if she had, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. He thinks that Alice murdered this guy? In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the earth key prevented us from accessing door one. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Who else, then, could have done so? Junpei thought for a second. Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth Key, they turned back and met up with me and June. Then, we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm, but... What about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were only gone five minutes. No human being could have run to the captain's quarters and killed that guy in there and run back that fast. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. I mean, we now know Snake could be alive and he's missing. Missing for a long time. That being the case, who could have killed him? Wouldn't it make sense if his killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? <sighs> a person like that would know the ship well. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. 
the number door would mean nothing to someone like that. It would be a simple thing for them to enter the captain's quarters. Then you're saying the killer was Alice? It was Junpei's turn to raise an eyebrow. No kidding. Ace drew his thumb across his lips, thoughtfully. Well, this is all only one possible theory. All ice, Alice. Is she really somewhere on the ship? Junpei had only one clue. A key card in his hand. Maybe this card will give me access to the forest of knowledge. And the big mystery. What could be there beyond the forest of knowledge? Anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. I'll come back to this later. He gripped the key card tighter and shoved it deep into his pocket. Oh, this must be the key that we need. Unique key. Key with a leather case. It isn't metal. My guess would be ceramic. Junpei, have you found a key that might fit in? Or a lock that might fit it? I don't Okay, I'm confused by that statement. Let's go back to the that keypad. Junpei, what are you doing? We searched the wheelhouse from top to bottom. Oh. No reason to go back there. In fact, don't you think it would be wise to investigate the captain's quarters? I thought that's where I was going. Okay. I got confused, okay, Ace, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get confused. The control panel for the electronic lock. Looks like it's got a keyhole on the bottom right. Look at the key I got earlier. Sweet! Just had to put that key in and now it's on. Junpei, look! There's a minus sign on the screen. There's eight of them. That probably means we've got to put in eight digits. You think you can figure it out? Um, you really want me to answer that? Well, hold on a second. Oh, no. Information about Alice. File found in the communications office. It says Alice on the spine. All the pages are filled with hieroglyphics from ancient Egypt. I'm assuming we need to go back to this. Did we check the we check the drawers, right? Oh! What's the deal with this? Is it some kind of code? There are four rows of numbers and letters. They all start with a zero and end with eight F N or V. Okay. 08FNB, respectively. Maybe this has something to do with the with number bases. Thinking eight would be octal. For base eight. And in the V. Let's see, let's see, let's see what happens here. A numeral system chart found in the captain's quarters. 10 in base 10 is written as A in hex. Hexadecimal, yeah. This chart showed the rules for each numeral system. Oh, I see. So then... This is hex. This would be... Um, 
which is base 16. This is base 8. And then this is... That's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's 24. Oops. 24. And then... Uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's five numbers. Uh, in terms of like 0, 8, 24, 32. Wait, 1, 2, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I, I think I know what it is. That gives us eight numbers. Let's try. Um, zero, eight digits, huh? Once I've put in the eight digit number, I just press E to enter it. If I mess up, I guess I just press C. All right, let's give it a shot. So he said zero. The next one is eight. Then it's 16, for that numbering system. Then 24. And then 32. Nice try. There's got to be more of them. Unless it's the other way around. Um, three, two. 24. Okay. Huh? What's the passcode? Pretty sure I've searched every part of this room by now. Oh, really? Okay. One of those things is switches what's on the screen. Let's see what happens if I flip one of these switches. Nothing. Okay, maybe it has something to do with zero. Um, there's four there, so it's possible it could be zero represented in one of these number systems. But Z wouldn't appear in anything. I know, right? Those four letters. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be that. Anything more with this? So... is there too so let me just think um, E would be in hex right I know what Z would be E would be um, 15, no, 14, because it starts with zero, right? So F is 15, E is 14, R, R would be, um, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27? Makes sense? 
So if we keep following to get to Z, um, 8, 29, 30, 31, these 31, uh, X, Y, Z. That'd be 34, possibly. And then O is, um, R was 27, 26, 25, 24. 34, 14, 27, 24. Oh. If it's not this, I don't I actually don't know what it is. Ugh. I'm trying to get more hints when I screw up though. the passcode. Search every part of this room. Fuck. We can try it the other way around. Wrong again. Hey, Junpei. Didn't you find a list of numbers and letters? Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to think about this, and we'll try to figure it out in the next episode. This is Lucas Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.